Um, I'm a student of philosophy, and I was wondering, what is there still to study within objectivism, within philosophy? I mean, where is there to go? Well, where have you gone? <laughs> Um, I've, I've read uh, most of Ayn Rand's writings, and um, I haven't listened to lots of lectures. I can't afford to buy all of them. I wish I could. But. Well, I don't know if you if you haven't uh, got the money or the time or whichever to uh, access a lot of the material. There's no asking me what where you can go. Well, I, no, no. I mean. Uh, We've, uh, Ayn, with everything Ayn Rand's done and yeah. that you've done. Oh, you mean is there anything new to discover? Yes, yes. I, how, no one can say that until a person discovers it. <laughs> I mean, that's like, like saying before Edison, well, what is there to invent? <laughs> now, all the inventions have been, oh, we got the steam engine, you know, we have, etc. Uh, I, I certainly, I have enough to do just applying and using what I've already learned uh, from her. I'd shot my shoot with uh, venture into uh, induction, and that's it. I'm not going into anything new or further. In fact, I'm leaving the field as soon as I finish this book. So it's up to the next generation to come up with where to go. There always it has been, with regard to every philosophy, new ways to you know, develop, uh, apply, etc. But those come uh, across uh, time. Uh, if I knew what they were, uh, you know, I would uh, I would pursue them, or at least I'd put an email. Out.